Yo, what is going on you guys? So today I'm bringing guys a brand new sports cards video. In today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down the five hottest players on the sports card market. Of course, we're in the full swing. As I'm recording this, we're in the full swing of the World Series. We're in the full swing of the NBA season. We're in full swing of the NFL season and the NBA season just kicked off. So we've got a lot of sports rolling, a lot of players exceeding expectations. So without further ado, we're gonna hop right into the first player on our list. And that player is none other than LaMelo Ball. Now, as you guys know, if you guys have been following the channel throughout the offseason, we always preach about players who were injured the year prior and LaMelo Ball was in that bucket. Now, any player who's was injured the year prior, their prices are very suppressed. So we saw LaMelo Ball, you know, throughout his injury last year, a lot of people, a lot of investors in his market sold off, you know, because he was injured and his, um, his future was pretty uncertain at that point. Now, of course, LaMelo Ball came out strong out of the gates with back-to-back 30-plus -back point games. I believe his first game, he had 34 points, you know, on pretty efficient shooting. So LaMelo Ball is back in the swing of things. And as you guys know, the Hornets have a great young core around Brandon Miller and LaMelo Ball and I think a lot of investors are starting to get excited about these young Hornets and realizing how low LaMelo Ball's card market was. Now if you look at you know his contenders PSA 10 autograph for example that card throughout the offseason was around a $350 to $450 card and recent sales have been closer to $600 now so a lot of investors are looking for those opportunities in LaMelo Ball's card market. Now for me personally I'm not touching some of his cards um, um, you know, such as his national treasures I and mean, it's higher end market. I feel like it's still pretty inflated from the pandemic and from that hype of that draft class. However, a lot of his lower end cards, I feel like are pretty good buy-in points. For example, his contenders rookie. You know, I think that is a card that for a lot of other younger players like Paulo, you know, are sitting at 30, 40, 50% more than LaMelo's. Um, and I think LaMelo Ball's market does have a lot of upside in his lower end stuff that got really suppressed during his injury. So we started to see his market pick back up a little bit but for me personally i think a lot of his cards are still a buy i think they're still in that buy level where you know they're higher than they were before but i think there's still a lot of runway if he continues to prove the world that you know he is the player that he was before his injury and he can continue to improve and now he's got brandon miller alongside him so i think you know the hornets can be a young team that people get excited about and if that's the case i think lamal ball's car market has a great future um i just personally wouldn't touch his higher end cards that haven't really come down as much as they should have and some of his prisms for example that are still a little bit inflated so the cards i like for lamella ball you know include his contenders autos you know his flawlesses are still pretty cheap comparatively to his other cards so i think those are the two you know areas that i would focus in for lamella ball's car market if you are going to buy in now without further ado we're going to hop right into our next pick and that is none other than reigning nba champion and olympian jason tatum now tatum of course had a massive year last year they won the finals however his car market was actually really suppressed throughout the summer you know his car market did not react how a lot of people thought it should have and that might be because he wasn't the clear-cut number one on those boston celtics and of course he got benched during the olympics so there was a lot of question around his individual playing however i do believe that he's come out this year with vengeance and he's ready to show the world that he is you know that number one player on the celtics and if he can prove that again and the celtics you know can continue to be you know the best team in the league that i think right now they're showing pretty clear cut that they are the best team in the league um then i could see a lot more upside in jason tatum's market the reason i personally would not buy in i think he's a decent hold i would not personally buy in right now just because you know, he's already in his eighth year, I believe, right now. You know, and I think right now we're kind of at a point where I think it's a little bit of a make or break, believe it or not, in my personal view for his car market, because I think the car market hasn't fully bought into him being the clear cut number one and him being that young superstar who can go on to win multiple, multiple championships. So I think he right now is put under a lot of pressure in the car market to prove that he is the number one player on the Celtics and he can not only win, but put up those incredible stats, which of course there's a good chance he's able to pull that off. But I think, you know, we've got to see more and more of that. And until then, I I think a lot of people are still going to be a little bit skeptical. We've started to see his market react a little bit. 
level he's playing it and the amount his market has reacted, I think that's a little bit of a concerning sign for me, you know, in his market, just because of course he's got Jalen Brown, he's got Drew Holiday, he's got Derek White, he's got a lot of, you know, Porzingis, a lot of talent on his team around him. And I think he's got to prove to be that one, you know, that number one player on the Celtics to really see his market sustain and grow from where it is at right now. Now, next up on the list, we're going to switch over to baseball. None other than the hottest player in baseball, Freddie Freeman. As I'm recording this, the Dodgers are up three to one versus the Yankees. And Freddie Freeman has homered in the first four games of this World Series. And I believe the stats that in his last six World Series games, he's hit a home run, you know. And so I personally think it is the best time to sell off Freddie Freeman card just because he's in the peak of the hype there couldn't be a better opportunity to sell off than right now you know he's in the spotlight all eyes are on him all eyes are on the Dodgers right now as I'm recording this video and I think it's best to sell off when the hype is there when the buyers are there could win MVP of the World Series and all that but I do think right now is still going to be the time where his cards are the hottest and the most attention is around his market um, and that's always the best time to sell off so I think Freddie Freeman certainly a sell in my book now next up we're gonna go over to football sam darnold sam darnold started the season 5-0 since then he's dropped two games but the vikings have looked super solid and the nfc is pretty wide open right now so there's a lot of people buying into sam darnold's car market and his car market was so so low before the season started now shout out to sports car taxi because i think you were the only guy who saw that coming you know which is pretty awesome i think a lot of people you know kind of write off those a little bit older players the guys who sat behind other players like sam darnold was a backup for the niners last year a lot of people gave up hope so his card market was so suppressed that it's bounced back super strong because of how cheap his cards were i still see a good amount of upside in sam darnold but i think a lot of it right now is going to rest on what happens in the playoffs um, and if the Vikings are able to pull off anything in the NFC, of course, the Niners are injured. There's a lot of teams who are pretty banged up, up right now. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens with the Vikings. I personally am not a solid, solid buyer into his market, but I don't think it's, you know, necessarily an amazing time to sell. I still see good upside. I think it's really just a matter of whether you believe in the Vikings or not. And I think he's a pretty good hold, you know, considering his prices are still so much cheaper than a lot of other players of his caliber. So I think it's going to really depend on how he finishes the season um, and if he's able to really solidify that Viking starting job, um, you know, moving forward with Justin Jefferson. They've got a great team around them. So it's just a matter of him sustaining himself at this point and proving that the 5-0 and was not a fluke. Now, next up on the list, we're going to go stick with football in a similar category. We've got Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield's another, I wouldn't say veteran quarterback, but a quarterback who's played, you know, who's 2018 draft class. He's played for, you know, six years or so. Um, of course, he didn't start all six years, but he has been a solid quarterback so far this year. And the Buccaneers are looking pretty solid. I think a lot of his market's really going to depend on what happens to the Buccaneers in the playoffs. Of course, the NFC is still wide open, so I would not count them out. I would just say a lot of his market right now is dependent on that because you know, I think his car market's already reacted to him being a solid quarterback in the NFL. And if he's just a solid quarterback in the NFL, I think his hype could die down a little bit. But if he can take that next step and do something in the playoffs, then I think it could be a good opportunity. The only thing I will warn you guys of is Mike Evans and Chris Godwin are injured right now. So that kind of you know, takes out a lot of the steam for his cards. They're still pretty cheap, so I wouldn't say they're a sell-sell, but I wouldn't be buying too aggressively into Baker Mayfield's market. I think it is a pretty risky play right now, given his receivers are out, um, and a lot of his play, you know, a lot of his market depends on how he does in the playoffs. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like. We are we just hit 50,000 subscribers, so I want to thank you guys so much for all the support recently. And other than that, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'm out. Peace.